So what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to customize Spotify to make it look amazing. Saying this as an artist, uh, music track curator, all those things. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Ah. I'm going to jump into my virtual machine to show you the tutorial, of course. What you got to do, you got to jump into Google Chrome or whatever you use. I personally use Brave, but this is a VM, so eh, whatever. It's all about what you choose. And you look up Spotify download. Now you saw that, you click this thing, okay? If you're on Windows, you should definitely click this one. Or this, it doesn't matter. So let's just click it. And what you want to do is you want to click Windows Current. But if you have Windows 8.1, 8 or 7, you better just choose that one. But I don't think y'all probably using 10 or 11, so just click that. And now that it's telling it, it's wait a second, it's gonna do that. I don't know why it thinks that I'm Deutschland, but okay. Let's just give it a time. Oh, perhaps I might just need to click this thing. Okay, if you don't just download it, you just gotta click this button. Download it directly from Spotify. Now what you do is you wanna basically download it. Now, why did I tell you to download Spotify if you already have it? Well, if you install it from this little evil thing, just kidding, Microsoft Store is cool, but yeah, I'll explain in a second. If you install it from Microsoft Store, you need to uninstall it. Because it has issues within the Spotify thing, the Spotify. So, it might have popped up something. Oh, there it is. So, hold up a second, it might just ask for permission or whatever. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna get back when I fix it. Okay, so for some weird reason, it displays this thing to me, and don't worry, it's Spotify, bro. You're just gonna click run. Okay, it's not like it's, it's Spotify themselves, it's not like some phone here or whatever. You can easily tell by the URL. It, it, it might do, it do this sometime. So I'm back. And after the back and forth and the issues, I managed to get them downloaded. Now, uh, if you're not logged in to Spotify, you probably aren't if you just downloaded it. You just gotta log in. Here's my boy Drake. Hey, who's this? Charlie? Charlie Pope? Anyways, you click this and you get a login. I'm just gonna do it really quick. Okay, so now I'm back. And as you can tell, this is my Spotify. Yes, I have over 12,000 songs in my. Uh, like songs, whatever. I'll just, you just gonna click allow. And yeah, I'm just gonna hide this, or whatever. This is my Spotify, you don't really need nothing really important. Now we're done with that, bro. You, you, you gotta just head over to Google Chrome. And once again, what you wanna do now, you wanna look up Spotify.dev. Once you're done with that, I mean, once it loads, um, hold up, I might just. I might have just wrong the, the domain ones. Um, it's PlayStation. My bad. Um, what you gotta do, what you gotta do right now is just click install. And now they're doing that. If you're in Linux or macOS, you better click. Oh, you, you better just open your shell thing and just write the commands. If you're on Windows, just follow what I'm doing. I'm just gonna click this. You're gonna open PowerShell, and uh, you probably don't need to use Administrator, but just open PowerShell. And then you can tell this is uh, this is just gonna show my username. This is a VM. Don't worry, just a literal VM. What I get to do right now is hit this, like actually Control C or right click if you're on Windows again. I'm not sure how it goes for Mac, but just do it like this. Now you're done with that. You gotta wait a few seconds, and yeah, it's gonna it's gonna work on things. <laughs> right back. Okay, so now that we've reached this thing, what you wanna do is you wanna hit Y, then hit Enter, because this thing is gonna give you the marketplace. And now that you've like entered it, you don't need to. On this thing after you run that. So, 
just gonna finish this thing real quick. Um, and also, if you sometimes have any issue with this thing, you might as well want to either like run the command I'll have in the description or just show it in the video later. Um, or just reach, reach out to them on their Discord or whatever. Now you see that it tried to pop in Spotify. It will need to restart it, don't worry. It'll restart it in, fact, in a second. Uh, it says if nothing happened, take their message above. You just gotta close Spotify, then reopen it. So I'm gonna click here, Spotify. There you go. Now you see this, a little new magic button appears. It's the marketplace. So from here on now, I'll give it to Linda. She's gonna just kidding, that's just me like going to do voice acting, okay? Just stick around. So now that you're here, what you wanna do is you wanna go into whatever it is over here and just install whatever works for you. So first thing you should note is that you have experimental features. I'm not allowed to go for these as these are free like non-disclosure. But you can just do whatever you want. So you have like a couple plugins here. But we'll start with the themes. The themes. I'll use one of the themes I like. And just click this one. You see that it's got the, it's gonna have like a cool vibe into your Spotify. So like um I'm gonna like add any theme. Now some themes might need like um, JavaScript so I'm just you need to like reload Spotify. And yeah, that's about it. As for the extensions, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like I'll show you what I like. Um let's just click on echo. Reload, and you'll see what I mean by own echo. You just gonna reload, it's fine. And now we will see some cat. Follow my cursor. And there you go. So yeah, there you go, your Spotify customization. And for those of you who want like, to have the, the canvas appear, you need to enable an experimental feature. I'm not allowed to close it. But you should find it. So yeah, just look in the experimental features. And that should just wrap the video up. Thank you for watching. So yeah, now that Linda finished the video, I'm just gonna real quick leave the VM and just have a little wrap up. So yeah, I'm not allowed to disclose any of the experimental features. Since they might change, they might whatever. Uh, but you do have that button. So if you just want to like um, have the notification where it shows you the, the canvas, I think I can show you an example. I'll just pop in an example on the screen. So like the the uh, the customization or like modification that just displays the canvas. You can just do that easily with the experiment. And yeah, that should conclude everything. Yeah. Uh, feel free to use this tool. Spotify might not be happy if you use it, but uh, if you have premium, you're more than entitled to use this. Cause like, I myself have premium. Like, there's an ad blocker plugin that you can download there, but I personally do not recommend this unless you really want it. So just do whatever you like. But I do not like encourage cracking Spotify or whatever. No, no, none of that. So, yeah, I hope this video went well, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, I have a Discord server, I have everything. And yeah, I'm also working on a project. It might be out soon, but yeah, that's it for today. Um, You want to like, you want to subscribe, do whatever you like. <laughs> I'm not here to like, shout you all or whatever. Just do whatever, I'm fine with it. You can also comment negative things, I don't care. And yeah, also... Um, can you like tell me how good I did with my voice acting? I know it might sound stupid, but... Yeah, 
Yeah, you can tell who did that. Anyways, yeah, see ya.